I'm Monica, and today you are going to learn about how you create your own illnesses. This is a concept I first came across in the book Metaphysical Anatomy by Everett Rose in 2021. And I found it absolutely fascinating how trauma can actually create stored emotions, which creates these chemical imbalances and problems in the body. And over a period of time, it can become illnesses. But the most groundbreaking one was from Lewis Hay in her book, Heal Your Body. You should absolutely read your book if you want to know more about this. The mappings of the negative thoughts and negative emotions that create illnesses in our body is so accurate in her book that I don't think the other books that I read about uh, mind-body connection, it doesn't even like catch up to the degree of accuracy that her book has. There is another book you can explore by Julia Cannon on the same topic. The name of the book is Soul Speaks. So the whole premise of creating the illness is basically when we have a lot of negative thoughts going on because of some challenging situation in our life, which we don't have any control over, we tend to feel a lot of negative emotions, which tend to create these diseases when we are constantly thinking over that over and over again. So <clears throat> when I first read Dr. Gay Hendricks, Gay Hendricks uh, book on uh, learning to love yourself, he was talking about healing and regulating emotions, negative emotions using self-love. And I really loved his concept of self-love and self-compassion. It's an absolutely amazing book. <clears throat> and later when I read Louis Hay's book and found that there are specific negative thoughts that can create illnesses. Now, in her book, she uses specific affirmations, which are opposite of the thoughts that has created uh, the illness to heal the body. Her book is very good. Uh, but what I also discovered is there are other ways to heal the body. So I realized that if uh, in learning to love yourself, if self-love can feel negative emotions. The connection I made was if uh, the illnesses in the body is created by negative emotions, then self-love can also cure illnesses. And this is how I created my self-healing blueprint, which is about self-love, like how you can use uh, self-loving affirmations to heal your body and your illness. And my clients absolutely love it. If you want to taste how it feels like and how to do the process of healing, at least minor illnesses to start with and to get a basic idea about how this works, I would totally suggest you sign up for my newsletter. A link is given in the description. You'll receive a free, free copy of the basic version of my self-healing blueprint. I also, if you like watching videos, you can get the same content if you sign up for my five free meditation, the day three meditation on body scanning and self-love. It talks about the self-healing blueprint. You can also watch the video if you don't like reading. So I've given both the links of my newsletter and this meditation in the description. You can check it out. So I wanted to know much more details as to what are the chemical and biological ways these emotions create illnesses in the body. Like theoretically, I have given you an overview. But to get into more depth and detail, I feel that the beans will give a better answer, a perspective that probably we haven't discovered or considered yet. As always, they share their perspective that like, I cannot find on Google or any research or books. And that is exactly what I love about channeling. So if you want to learn channeling, I would 100% recommend that this is a blessing of unspeakable proportions. Like I believe everyone should learn channeling given how amazing it is and what kind of impact it has on your it has in your life. So if you want to learn channeling from me, I have provided the link um, in the description too. And there is a 10% discount that you can use. Um, the discount code is also given in the description. So let me channel a being who is most apt to give answer to this question about how we create illnesses in our body in much more depth and detail. I hope you enjoy.
welcome to your first step to healing your mind and body. We are the Arcturians, and it is a pleasure to bring you this information. We are extraterrestrials from the Arcturus civilization, and we are currently residing in our ships and communicating with you through our technology. So we have observed humans over decades and learned so much from you. We are non-physical beings and we can physicalize if we wish to. But because our vibrational frequency is very high, we do not experience the negative emotions or illnesses that humans experience on a daily basis because our perspective is very different which doesn't allow us to experience any negative emotion. Now there is a benefit to experiencing negative emotion because in physical reality there is no way for you to know what is good for you and what is not meant for you. Since you have decided to physicalize in this lifetime and experience a specific source aspect, it is important to also understand what are your physical limitations, your boundaries, and which things who are also other source aspects can violate or disturb your boundaries which can harm you. So even other people who have hurt you, even if they are source aspect, just as much you as much as you are, it doesn't mean that you have to get along with everybody else just because they are source. There are some people who are more aligned with your value systems and goals as compared to others who are completely different from you and whose value systems can hurt you because of its difference. So you do not wish to spend time with incompatible people and your emotions play that important role in telling you what is right for you and what is not right for you given who you are. You still have a choice to make, a decision to make whether you still want to continue in the path that is not of your highest excitement. So humans haven't received any information about how to use their emotions in their daily life. Most of you have been taught to suppress your emotion, avoid, deny, neglect them, instead of allowing them to be felt. And since this is the training you have received since your childhood, it has created more problems for you because these belief systems, the negative belief systems are created in your childhood. And if you are not allowed to experience or allow to feel emotions in your body, if you stop them in their tracks, you are basically stopping the emotions to flow through the body and disappear where they can be absorbed. And this stopping of the emotion is the beginning of suffering as well as illnesses. So let's talk about the chemical nature of your emotions so that you understand how the illnesses are created. Now, as is often used in your new age philosophy, emotions are energy in motion. These are not only chemicals, but these are electromagnetic signals or pulses that course through your body. So the emotions are meant to communicate to each part of the body what decisions or conclusions have been made by your mind. And the rest of the body gets to know that using your emotions. So if you are feeling positive emotions, 
then these electromagnetic pulses that are sent across the body informs each and every cell of the body and the other organs that the decision is safe for us and is for our highest good and is in alignment with who we are and what we choose to be. Whereas when you respond to a situation with negative emotions, then your mind is informing the body through the emotion that this is not a good decision and this is not in alignment to what we prefer so that the other organs and cell systems can make their own decisions what they wish to do given this information. So emotions are in a sense messengers for your body. Now what happens is since you are not allowed to feel negative emotions like anger, fear, hatred, jealousy, disgust, disappointment, sadness, hurt, name any emotions that doesn't make you comfortable. Most of you try to suppress or resist these emotions very naturally without realizing that you're doing that because that training you have received since your childhood that it is not safe to express your emotions. And what happens is different organs can create these emotions in the body because each organ system is managing specific aspect of you. And if you are not allowing the emotions to flow and inform the rest of the body, then this impulse gets stuck in that organ system. And what happens is the information is not sent to the rest of the system and that electromagnetic pulse that is negative in nature is not allowed to move, it is it gets stored in that organ or that organ system. There is a resistance that prevents the emotions to flow, the flow is stopped. And these emotions are not the one that is meant to be stored in the body because remember, negative emotions are poisonous in nature and they are not supposed to last for more than 15 seconds. That is enough time for all the body parts to know and take decisions. So when you allow the emotions, they simply circulate wherever they need to circulate and they dissolve. But most of you don't know how to allow yourself to feel emotions. So they get stuck in the organ that was created and the stuckness kind of poisons that system because it cannot spread because there is resistance from you and at unconscious level. And thus, there is a disbalance created in the organ system where the emotion is stuck and it harms, starts harming the ecosystem of that organ. And the result is very instantaneous. So when people say, oh, I took years to develop this illness, it did not take years. It happened instantaneously. So whenever you experience a disease, illness, pain, discomfort, what have you, always notice what event happened when it first appeared. Now, it is easier for illnesses which has physical symptoms like pain or discomfort but it might be hard to detect for illnesses which do not have any physical symptoms as to when it first appeared. Any event or circumstance that has triggered will give you an idea what created those emotions and exploring those emotions will allow you to know how you have created the stuckness. So as long as you understand which incident and what kind of emotion has created the problem, you can heal it. Because along with emotions, you are also accompanied with a negative thought. Negative emotions and negative thought go hand in hand. 
we have really studied and observed humans. And this is what we have found. They are, one triggers the other. So emotions are felt in the body and you will feel the discomfort exactly where the emotions are stuck in the body. You can feel the sensations. So if you can identify what negative thoughts created those negative emotions, you can change those thoughts, thus healing the body because the emotions are then allowed to express itself and dissolve. That can be done in many ways through self-love, as this channel was talking about. You can do by exposing that body part to the opposite vibration of that emotion to make the body adjust to the healing vibration, which many of your new age healing devices and mechanisms are doing. You can also use energy healing to change the energetic nature, the energetic disbalance that is created in the body because of the stuck emotions. There are many ways to heal the body, but understand the fundamentals of how you are creating illnesses so that you know exactly what to heal. So we hope that we have given you some idea how you are creating your own illnesses so that you can take charge of your own health and become more aware of your negative thoughts and negative emotions and practice more emotional coping mechanisms which are healthy, which allow yourself to feel those emotions and let them go instead of holding onto them by suppressing, denying, obstructing their flow and allowing, stopping yourself from feeling them. In all, allowing yourself to feel negative emotions allows them to be dissolved and gone from your system. Not allowing them causes the problem. So we hope you learned something valuable from today's session and we wish you a good day.